Immigrants. When immigrants leave from the sending country point of view, uh, often if skilled immigrants exit the country, then this is often uh, called brain drain, which means that for in a, in a very poor country uh, where you have a, a poor city or a poor village or a poor locality, suppose you have only one doctor, only one teacher, if these people leave, uh, then the, the village eventually will die because nobody will be there to take care of the people. And if many of the skilled people uh, leave the nurses and the, and the doctors and the teachers and the uh, gifted uh, pianists and uh, the writers and the poets, then uh, that really um, drains or, or has, has the sending country bleeding. Um, and. Um, uh, a way to to sort of uh, equalize the bleeding or, or kind of stop it a little bit is uh, the remittances when immigrants go abroad always send money back home to the home country and remittances have been found to be very resilient through time and through business cycles even now with the recent um, worldwide recession we find that remittances kept going strong um, many um, many governments of, from the sending countries rely on remittances and, and encourage their um, migrants or their the diaspora to um, to send remittances back home. Um, so um, bilateral agreements between governments uh, will help. Um, to alleviate the problems I mentioned, especially policy and restrictions, and um, which often actually backfire into, um, uh, you know, producing or inducing illegal uh, migration.